taking you around some of the sites that absolutely must be seen whilst you're in Venice, um, perhaps some of the ones that you wouldn't see where you're visiting for just three days. The course is a mind-opening experience. We introduce people to all sorts of areas, which will then, I think, set them off thinking about them and following them, maybe, for the rest of their lives. It gives you an understanding of so many different things that you would, you would never even think about. Just sort of opens your eyes to beauty and it sets you up for an appreciation for life, of, of all things beautiful. The best lecturers were the ones that we had quite a few of. So we got to know them better, like Peter Lawrence and such clarity and enthusiasm that you believed in whatever he said. This is the single greatest collection of paintings of the Venetian school anywhere in the world. A child will come back having gained independence, having gained confidence, able to talk about art, able to talk about ideas. It's fantastic value for money, uh, wonderful accommodation, wonderful food, very good care, fantastic lecturers. You talk about the Renaissance, they really do mean the Renaissance. They, they're looking at Greek and Roman stuff and what they're trying to do is write or invent the music that you would have had in, in, Greek, in Greek drama. A lot of people ask me, what is the John Hall Venice course about? The students are exposed to professors and experts from around the world who are talking about their particular subjects. Simon Conway Morris, who's going to be talking about evolution and Darwinism. We're going to have Ma Malcolm Longair talking about astrophysics. There's Jeremy Sams who talks about music. It's a unique experience set in this extraordinary environment. It's dramatic and it's fantastic and it's inspirational. What I didn't expect from the course was um, the breadth of things we learned, so from the Big Bang Theory to opera, to cookery, to history. I'd say history of art was actually in the minority. We're going to cook a big pasta with mussels. We're going to use garlic, cherry tomatoes. It's a, a, a life course, really. I think that it makes you a rounded person. It's a great deal of fun. I'm Michael Burton. I'm a High Court judge. I was on the very first Venice trip, which was quite an, a wonderful experience. There were, I think, only 30 of us. We were very much the guinea pigs, uh, and that was 1965. Uh, and of course, he's gone on now another f nearly 50 years. He doesn't look a day um, older than he did when he started, but then he looked pretty old when he started. One of the rather pleasing things about the course is that we now have probably more than 60 people of a second generation whose mothers or fathers, or in some cases both, were on the course. Of course, I can remember their parents very well. John was the epitome of kindness from day one. He came up and shook my hand right at the beginning of the course and all the way through, uh, we had great talks. He was very easy to talk to. I did, like, biology for A-level, so... Oh, well, go for it, go, go. My mother was on the course the same year as Charlie Hall and she didn't really pressure me to, to do the course but she's been talking about it all through my childhood about how amazing it was. Her best friends are mainly from the John Hall course rather than school or university and it just, just sounded like an amazing thing to do. So I'll definitely be sending a third generation. The expense is justified in our view. Uh, Venice is a very expensive city, but they have so many unique experiences there that you don't get with other art courses. None of your, your, your money is wasted because they just get a wonderful education and they come back such interesting people. Everything about it, everything he experienced, the drawing lessons, the photography, definitely isn't, it is expensive, but it's definitely value for money. The extraordinary thing is that I found that uh, you bump into John Hall people all over the place. I was having dinner with someone the other day who I'd met, and it turned out he'd been on John Hall. The chap in the next door room but one, a fellow commercial court judge, turns out to have gone on a John Hall. There's nothing which keeps you in business for life like, like a John Hall trip.